Now, I am not a doctor. I don't even play one on TV, but I have been told right now is an important time for Cowboys linebacker Jalen Smith, even though we're a month away from training camp and another two plus months from the regular season. What's currently happening with his body could determine if he'll ever play in the National Football League. The video might be too gruesome to forget. Jalen Smith landed awkwardly during his final game in college, tearing his ACL and injuring his PCL on his knee. Though surgery was successful, there was another problem. What was complicated in his injury is that he had sustained an injury to the nerve that passes along the outside of the knee. Dr. Andrew Dole was at the NFL scouting combine last year and examined Smith while working for the Jacksonville Jaguars. And at that stage, the nerve wasn't working, and he had the condition associated with a perineal nerve palsy known as foot drop. To get a better idea of what foot drop is, Dr. Dole illustrates what happened to the nerve in Smith's knee. When a varus force is placed across the knee or more of like a bow-legged force, uh, the nerve which is in the laterals or the outside of the knee is subject to injury as it becomes stretched or tensioned. So this would be the most common mechanism uh, in the context of an athletic or football type injury where the nerve is stretched and then no longer works and therefore it doesn't activate the muscles in the anterior distal leg. And stretching that nerve means it becomes much tougher to walk and impossible to run. The perineal nerve uh, activates the muscles in the anterior shin here, which allows you to dorsiflex the ankle. So in a patient that is unable to dorsiflex the ankle, when they're walking, they have to take a high step with their gait in order to clear the foot. If you didn't take a high step, it would result in your foot dragging along the ground because you're not able to dorsiflex the ankle. So as a result, the patient has to take a high step in order to clear their toes and then also slap the foot on the ground because they're unable to control following heel strike. Dr. Dole gives any player with this injury a 50-50 chance of ever returning to the gridiron. Smith predictably missed his rookie season. But during last minute camp, he was able to run, hit, and jump. The Cowboys head team position is the same doctor who performs Smith's surgery. There's also two other factors, Dr. Dole says, that determine success. What kind of damage happened to the nerve and the age of the patient. He had a traction type injury on the nerve, so the nerve was never severed or completely disrupted in its course. Uh, and also, he's a very young, healthy guy. As promising as it might seem, it's been 17 months since Smith's last game with Notre Dame. If he's going to play for the Cowboys, there has to be tangible improvement right around now. I understood that it was going to be a process, and I truly embraced it. Cowboys, especially Jerry Jones, are going to offer a positive outlook for Jalen Smith, given the investment. We're certainly very pleased with uh, uh, his progress. It's a matter of time before he's, he's a dominant player. He's put the work in, um, so it's been fun for me to be able to work with him. What about Dr. Dole's medical opinion? At this stage, I would think that it is possible that he will play for the Cowboys this season. Head coach Jason Garrett continues broadcasting the day-by-day -day approach. Jalen Smith has had to wear a brace because of that foot drop and says he could still wear that brace in a game. Now, that's where the debate begins, but losing that contraption may be the biggest sign he's ready to return.